Pay close attention to the moment where Dave suffers another creative existential crisis. <laughs> Let's go! Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dave Connery. If you don't know me very well, uh, I'm an artist and a designer. I make stuff like this. I make stuff like that. I'm also designing stuff, like I design magazines, I design logos and branding, and I do all kinds of things. I do all the things! So if you're interested in stuff like that, interested in conversations regarding those things, then hey, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you can, and then share it with somebody that you love. Okay, housekeeping out of the way. So, I went to DesignerCon, I already talked about this, but I wanted to let you guys know that there are some details that I left out. Some details that you probably well, I don't know if you need to know them, but I'm gonna share them with you anyway. So you see, what happened was I went to the thing with my son and we did a bunch of stuff. We went and walked around the convention and we saw a bunch of people, but there were two groups, actually probably more than two, but really two specific groups that really kind of changed my perspective on the thing that I'm talking about. And I, I mentioned this, but I wanna go into detail specifically about Aaron Draplin and Lincoln Design. Now, Aaron Draplin is a designer. He's a real popular guy right now, kind of a big heavy set dude, really, you know, personal, like a bear of a guy. He makes stuff like hats and patches and, and stickers and, and all these other things, as well as being a very popular corporate designer. He does uh, logos and design for all kinds of different brands, but he really enjoys getting on the road, going to do conferences like the one that I saw him at, selling his merch to people like you and me, and also giving talks and stuff like that. So it was really a good experience to go there and see him in action. I've known that he's been selling hats and all this other stuff for a long time, but I've never actually seen his stuff. I've never seen it in person. And so I definitely wanted to take that opportunity. In fact, it was the primary reason why I decided to go to DesignerCon in the first place. I saw so many other things that I liked, but there was something very specific about Aaron Draplin that I really needed to see. I needed to get a scope of what he was doing. When I got to his booth and I saw him and I saw everything that he had displayed, I was transformed. I was mind blown. I was taken into a new place. I also got to meet the guy. He got to talk to me and my son. And he was really cool with my boy. Here's a picture. Really cool dude, really enjoyed the conversation. So I left his booth, went and continued through the whole thing, and then I ran across Lincoln Design, who is, uh, let's say they're relatively similar in scope. They're a design agency based out of Portland. They have more illustrative stuff, but uh, they, you know, not too far away from what Draplin is doing. They do design work for corporate branding, but then they also sell t-shirts and badges and stickers and hats and blah, 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 blah. Same idea, just a different style. So here I am, I get invigorated because of Draplin and what I see, and then I get that reinforced enforcement by seeing other people do the same thing. So it sends a message to the old cerebral cortex and saying, Dave, you can do this too. Why can't you do the same stuff? So I solidified the concept that I'm gonna be doing more stuff like that. So I left the event, I went right home and I started designing my very first patch and it started right here in a field notes notebook. Started making some notes about things that I wanted to do. I just started experimenting and playing around. I was having a good old time and then I found an idea that I really wanted to focus on so I decided to take it right here. I'm looking down at my computer right now, you can't see it, but it's right here. I'm looking down here at the computer, looking down at a design and I made that exact night in fact here let me show you started here with this mug idea that it was just like kind of reiteration and reiteration and reiteration and reiteration and doing all kinds of things trying to figure this out the one that I'm leaning towards is probably this one right here I spent a lot of time working on that and it was all it was fun it was a lot of fun I had a good time doing that but then I had this crisis moment I had this moment where I was looking at that and I was also looking at this. I was looking at that. I was looking at all the other stuff that I do that is very much Dave. This is very much Dave. When I looked down at that design, it said it ain't gonna drink itself. It feels like me, but it doesn't look like something I would normally do. Yes, I did make it. Yes, it did come from my hand and my brain, but it's so aesthetically different than some of the other stuff that I do that I felt really almost weird about it. If I put this out, will there be such a disconnect from everything else that I do? I'd like to say that I came up with a really good answer for you and I said, yes, I figured it out. I know exactly what I'm going to do. But the truth is I didn't. It's been almost two weeks now. I've been dwelling on this idea and I still am not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I feel like there's something more that I should be doing to this. Yes, I like this design, but I want it to feel like me. The question is, what does that mean? It's super easy for me to say, that feels like me, or these 
these feel like me. When I look at this design and I say to myself like, God, what, what would I do to make that day? Now I have some thoughts. There are some things that I definitely could do, but then here's the other side of this that I'm struggling with. This is the other side that nobody talks about, or at least, yeah, I don't know, maybe they talk about it, but I'm talking about it and maybe you're thinking it or other people think it, I don't know, and I'm just the only the one dumb enough to put it up on YouTube. And this one's a little painful. This one's gonna be a little bit painful to me. For all of the comments and likes and shares and follows that I get when I put up my work, I don't sell a lot of it. And that troubles me because if I turn around and try to make this coffee cup design into something that looks and feels like Dave, will I be separating myself from the potential customers that may want to buy this? Hence the crisis in my head. So as I wallowed in my sorrow, I was bouncing around on YouTube and I was looking at different videos and this one video popped up of John Contino, who's a designer out of New York. Skillshare that was interviewing him about some of the stuff that he'd done for them in the past and I started watching that video and listening to him talk about his design process. And I've been familiar with Contino for a long time, but I never really kind of, I never really kind of solidified myself as a big fan. I do like his work. I just never, like I just hadn't connected with him on the same level that I had with other people like Draplin. And that's kind of weird because if you look at Contino's work versus Draplin's work, you would think that I would definitely, if you know me, you would think that I would definitely lean more towards Contino's work. And that's where I had this little bit of an epiphany, this tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of an aha moment. I won't call it a big aha moment because the jury's still out. I'm not gonna go into gross detail on this. I will link to that video below if you wanna check it out for yourself. But here's the thing. So John draws his stuff by hand, draws with pencil, then he'll take his stuff, he'll scan it, he'll put it into Illustrator, and he'll redraw it in Illustrator. But then he takes that out of Illustrator and copies it again so that he gets the geometry right, but it still has this this hand-drawn aesthetic that he wants. And then of course he'll scan that back in and he'll do his whole thing with Illustrator and make it look John Contino-ish. So I said to myself, like, why can't I do that? Why can't I take my aesthetic and do that with this stuff? Why can't I make this coffee cup that way? I went and I printed out a really poor copy of this thing. And then I went to a, a copy shop and I started uh, sketching some stuff. I, I did a trace myself, take it and I'm a bring it into Illustrator and I'm gonna do the, the tracing thing there and then I'm gonna print it out again and then do it again. I'm gonna go through the whole rigmarole just because I wanna see what I can generate with this because I definitely feel like there's like some sort of aesthetic that I can pull from this. I definitely believe that there's something about this piece, this coffee cup piece that is mine. It came from my hand, it came from my heart, it came from my head. It all came from me. Nobody else created this but me. It just doesn't have a full 100% Daveness. So I want to experiment and see what I can do with that. And it may work and it may not work. I'm not gonna completely abandon the really super clean illustrated version. I'm gonna keep that because I think there's a home for that. I just don't know where it is yet. In fact, what I want to do is compare and contrast. I want to take the clean version and put that out there as a representation of who I am. And then I want to dirty that sucker up and put that out there. And let's see what people react to. I want to see how people gravitate towards one versus the other. I want to represent myself in a way that gets things sold. I want people to buy things. So yes, if somebody comes and says, I want to buy all your mugs and, and, and phone covers or whatever I decide to make with the clean version, then guess what? I'm going to be making some clean versions because, you know, hey, daddy's got to get paid. Okay, so here's the thing. I can put both of those out there and I know exactly what's probably going to happen. I'm going to put them out on Instagram and then people are going to gravitate towards the dirty one because they know that as being who I am. What if I put them both on like say a shirt or put them on a sticker or put them on a patch and the clean one sold better? What do I do then? Do I abandon the dirtiness or do I still find a happy middle somewhere in between? These are all questions that I don't expect answers to. It's just one of these things that we have to run across and I'm only sharing this because I feel like other people are probably struggling with similar things, or maybe it's just me and I'm just a crazy mofo. But so that's where I'm at. I'm trying to find my way to the dirty middle. I'm trying to find my way to the place that allows me to put a little bit of grunge and, and grime and grit into my stuff, and yet still is approachable for other people. Because, like I said, man, I, I, I love doing the art, I love making art, but it would be awesome if I could get some more people to buy into it.
The artist struggle is real, people. I still love every single moment of all the things that I do. Well, okay, I won't say I love every single moment. I still love 98% of the moments that I have doing creative stuff, and I'm not gonna stop anytime soon. So we keep experimenting until we figure this stuff out. All right, folks, that's it. I'm gonna go design a sticker or something. If you are new here and you missed it the first time I said it, hey, do me a favor, please like this video, comment below what you liked most about it, and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And if you have subscribed, or you haven't pressed that little bell button down there, press the bell button because you don't want to be missing this awesomeness when it comes around and YouTube is not great about telling you. So I'm telling you now, you want to be in the know, hit the bell. Oh, one last thought. I had a bunch of new followers come on here recently and a bunch in perspective to how many I already have. I had a good percentage of new followers come on and I just want to say hi, thanks, I appreciate you. Thank you for popping in. And if you came from TikTok, uh, you're awesome, and if you don't know me on TikTok, I'm over there at Dave Makes Things. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Remember, folks, be good today, be better tomorrow. See ya.